The Carson High Senators faced off with Wooster and Galena last week in basketball. Here's Keith with more in sports. The Carson High boys basketball team had a less than stellar game against Wooster last Tuesday, but managed to come out on top by a score of 31-26. Then Friday, the Senators didn't play any better, not even scoring a point in the first quarter and finishing up with a 64-42 loss to Galena, which leaves them in a tie with the Grizzlies atop the Sierra League standings with only two games left to play, Minogue on Tuesday and Douglas on Friday the 13th. Carson's girls team shared a similar fate last week, standing up to a fourth quarter rally from Worcester on Tuesday to hang on to a 50-42 win, then falling to Galena on Friday 49-48 in a game that came right down to the final seconds. The Senators wrestling team finished fourth in the NIAA Regional Wrestling Championships last weekend, but the real story is Brady O'Keefe at 145, Nolan Shine at 160, and Brady Rivera at 220, all winning individual titles while qualifying for the state meet next week in Winnemucca. Brendan Bassa and Sheldon Miller also advanced after placing second and third. The Wildcats of Western Nevada College had a great day on Friday in the Great Western Shootout Tournament, winning all three games on Friday 8-3 over Yavapai College, 2-1 over tournament host Arizona Western, and 11-7 over Eastern Arizona. Saturday morning, Yavapai defeated the Wildcats 6-4, while Arizona Western also came back from their loss the day before to beat WNC 1-0. But the Wildcats came out on top 7-4 against Golden West College to finish the tournament with a third-best 4-2 record. In baseball, the Wildcats took advantage of a couple of wild pitches in the 10th inning to win the first of four games against Cochise College 7-4 on Friday. Saturday, WNC swept the doubleheader 4-2 and 6-5 before facing off for the final game of the series on Sunday, where Coach East finally came out on top 7-3.